guys welcome back to another video today i'm at le mans first time i've done an official race in what feels like a month maybe it's been a few weeks i have been doing my league races don't worry i'm definitely not out of eye racing just haven't done any officials some of that was to keep my ir where it is or has been for a while other part of that is just i've been doing a lot of league races i've been super busy in that respect so I wish the first Forget official in we, uh, weeks at least wasn't at Le Mans. Forget not good here at all. It shows me starting 14th, but only 15 people qualified. So figure that math out for yourself. Um, I just suck here. It's one of those places the slowdowns are horrendous at this at this place. They did fix slowdowns, but unfortunately, the phantom lines of where they exist are still there. So. Hope you guys have been doing well. I'm excited to get back into it. Really hope to learn a little something. I'm doing this race. It's Friday for me. I have a league race here on Tuesday of the following week. I'm trying to learn a little something. And uh, I wonder if we're doing a single file. Yeah, yeah, okay. Single file start. It's smart, actually, with the chicane right at the there. end. Makes a lot of sense. A little slow out of the gate here, Mike. Just letting you know, man. The cold tires on. Okay. Cool. Cool. I don't normally like to have that on while I'm doing a a recording because who knows what anybody will say, and I don't really want to broadcast that to the internet. So yeah, definitely a couple seconds off the pace. I definitely missed the memo that it's the McLaren show and that all other cars are irrelevant. <laughs> but I mean, it is the McLaren is ridiculously fast here but i picked a corvette for the prl season which means i'm going to run it in all the officials as well just to give myself the uh you know more time more experience all that sort of stuff so i do love that touch though genius all right cool buckle up let's have some fun <clears throat> hope for the best green flag green flag catch up 28 car <clears throat> Man, I appreciate that. All right, here we go. So the real question in this race is how many slowdowns am I going to get? It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of how many. They're so bad at this track. No. Little air, little pull tire. Draft City, as you can imagine. And the Clarins are going to be real fast. <laughs> yeah, you can see three, six, and nine cars here. Did not qualify. Pushing each other down the straight. Clear. You got super loose there. I don't think our race is with any of these guys. I don't think that's a given. save some fuel behind and that would be pretty preferable. It's unfortunate not to be able to see anything over here. Clear on the right. Oh. <clears throat> there they go. Oh please don't let me <laughs> Man it would have been so cool to hold that toe. 
if there's some way they'll bunch up here and I can get it back. Otherwise, I'm a sitting duck. Somehow, some way, bunch up just a touch. Thank you for holding those brakes. Oh, jeez. company. Big wreck. Many cars. Much destruction. My frame rate, frame rate just hit the shitter through all that. Not often I feel like I'm getting a slideshow in iRacing, but we certainly are. Oh man, all you. Settle, settle. I genuinely do not remember the last time I saw 60 FPS in iRacing, not in VR. <coughs> That's crazy. There was a lot going on there. Oh my god, I gotta slow down. How in the world am I in 10th place? Good grief. I mean, clearly accidents. I mean, that's the answer. It's accidents. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Alright. Cruising. I gotta be honest, I've never been a fan of this track. I've never gotten on with it. Not in iRacing, not in Forza, not in anything. Just never been good at it. Had a league race here. I don't know if it, was, it was probably uh, season two of iRacing. Yeah, definitely in season two. Had a league race here and at least started to get the flow of it. I mean, honestly, preparing for that league race, I was looking up at my track map, like, what's coming next? You know, like, I didn't know it to that degree. It was that bad. So at least now I know what's coming. I have a general sense of things, but it doesn't make me any better at it. But I mean, some of these corners are just so critical. You miss the corner, you're losing half a second down a straight. I mean, it's, it's just one of those. It's a great track. I just never been a fan. Never been good at it. And now, unfortunately, you're gonna watch me sit in no man's land for 40 minutes. Group behind you get some slowdowns, would be wonderful. Maybe battle a little bit.
This corner always kicks my ass. Right here, it's so, so easy to lose the car there. So easy not to be prepared for it from the exit of the previous corner. These two, I suck at. Chicanes are not my thing. Alright. I think my best lap here is in the 57s. So, it's just not saying much. Give me a couple seconds off. One day I think I'll figure it out. It's not gonna be today. Really would love to see the guys behind me battle, but I don't even know that it matters to be honest. They're generally going to be a lot quicker than me. At the end, you know, yeah. Survive in advance, man. <clears throat> Something happened there. Oh yeah, slow downs. I, I tell you, that's going to be really the name of the game. If I could just not get a... I hate to say it out loud, but... I could just not get a slow down. Stay on the track. I wish I could save some fuel, but... I'm not around anybody to easily do that. I gotta say, if you're watching, if you love some iRacing Discord communities, I have a really good one going. I'm a pretty small group, but honestly, I kind of enjoy it that way. It's if you, you want to get into endurance racing, there's always guys looking to run endurance events in iRacing. It's a really good group of people. Highly re recommend checking it out. I can safely say that Discord has literally brought two teams of groups, you know, two teams of guys together to do endurance races in recent months, which is pretty awesome. If you just kind of want to hang out with some like-minded people, there is a there is a link in the description. Check us out. If you don't like it, you can leave. It's all good. No feelings hurt here. sure if I should really be going to first there or not. Feels like the right thing to do. If there's something about this car, it just... the It's not very loud at low RPM. You almost don't realize how much throttle you've got in it. to go before we can pit. I'm not really sure how much of that I can cut. I don't know if that's one of those you need the left sides on the track still, like on the other side of the white line, or, or what. 57.3, that's the fastest left I've done here so far. like at all or just in the session clearly there's a good bit of time in this first sector though to these guys even more break
<clears throat> Four tenths, half a second off my best. Just hope by the time we get to the league race on Tuesday that I can at least be like maybe the 55s. Some of my teammates have been running like 54s. Actually, one of my guys is in here. Oh man, he got killed. Jason, he started pretty high up. the hell they get through there so good? Jeez. I mean, wow. That was super impressive. I feel like I was barely getting through there. Caught me up real quick. Because I can't see shit. But I actually thought I was going to get it on the first apex because I was pretty tight on exit. red line. He should be pretty quick. These McLarens do have some serious speed though. Well, the Mustang's fast too. One of our teammates is running that for PRL this year. He's pretty excited about it. It's a year this season. So it's got some great straight line speed. <clears throat> All right, no more of those uh, slowdowns. 24 minutes, brother. See if you can see if you can handle that. Oh, getting so close. I guess I'm hitting the brake and shouldn't be. Just lifting. I'm like on the edge. This dude's got no problem. Go for it. Good grief. Clear on the left. Left side. Clear. Can't see anything. Man, I feel like I'm just getting run over. You're a couple seconds off the pace, even on the four minute track, man, it shows big time. Cutting a lot more than I thought you could. really see the value in trying to go past these guys to be honest I know that's such a stupid thing to say in a race but it's true I think it makes more sense for me to just try to save some fuel and this guy's caught me up so easily 
going so much deeper in here than I've ever been able to go. This pack and clear it in the next corner. God. <clears throat> well, I did want to save fuel, right? So I hope to learn something from some of these guys. I always feel like I learn best by following a faster car. I could sit out here and run a thousand laps on myself. I'm gonna learn more from 10 minutes behind one of these guys. Set my pit stop yet. <laughs> Rip. Alright, let's do it. My tires max fuel. Guess I could have done that on entry, huh? everywhere. Cars are only in the 70s. And that is uh, painful. Painful, painful. <coughs> I'm still in a position to gain IR. I mean, I, got, I am the 24 car. I can't decide that, but still, it's pretty, pretty ridiculous. Come on! Oh my gosh! <sighs> I suck at this track. I really don't know what else to say. I just suck at this place. Ugh. Brutal. Lots of just unforced mistakes. Unfortunate. So Jason's out, out, unfortunately. 
Well, not a oh, yeah, I guess technically you're right. Pit stop. We're gonna have five laps at the line. I don't know how to find this extra time. I really don't. Tricky pit entry for that. Okay. I really do appreciate the ambiance of this track, though. It's pretty cool. Pit box team. Add the leaders, baby. I'm trying to think of a title for this video. It's gonna be like I suck at Lamont. We're done. Get going. Better get run over. How are we back together? Am I seriously under fuel or something? That would just top this race off for me, I think. Jeez. Alright. <clears throat> It'd be really cool to stay with you. Come on, McLaren Bros. We get some really ugly stutters in iRacing recently. I'm really curious if that comes along in the the recording. That was that was a big one. It's totally random too. Practice session, league race, any track. It just doesn't seem to matter. Oh shit. one of those races you just don't want to post, man. Yeah, my fuel's kind of bouncing all over the place. Right now it says I've got 4.6 laps of fuel, but only 3.6 laps of a race. But instead of telling me I have an extra 7.5 liters, it's telling me I'm exactly on, on the march. So, I'm guessing we're right, really close to an extra lap, or not. And GRT is having a hard time figuring out what's what. Hopefully when we come across the line, we'll have a little bit more information. I mean, if it's an extra lap, I can't save 7.5 liters, so... That is what it is. <coughs> Somehow, some way, I'm still in like 17th place or something. No idea. Chaos. Keep making such terrible mistakes. 
It's like I know where my brakey marker is, man. Hit the brakes. <clears throat> Instead of being right on these guys to draft them, now I'm almost a second back again. Not go too far to the right there. That's a big slowdown. Way too easy to get that one. It's just, the slowdown stuff just feels so arbitrary to me. I really don't like the way it's handled with this track. can't tell you how many Corvettes I sent into the wall intentionally during practicing for this. Learning this track just because of the slowdowns. So frustrating. Oh shit. This race has been absolutely insane. There's just shit everywhere. Alright, JRT's figured it out. We're right on it for fuel. I might need to save just a touch. But yeah, we're right on it for fuel. It's still oddly in this positive IR space. Fuel savings necessary. I don't think I'm catching up with uh, Shintaro here. Really wish I could I'd utilize some draft to uh, maintain pace. I think the wild thing is I have not done a single clean lap. Oh, wait. No, I have. That's a lie. Looking at the wrong thing. My last lap shows dashes. I was my best lap was showing dashes. Never mind. Yeah, that's right. It's 53 or 57.3. All right, so we'll cross the line. Three laps to go. Gotta save a, just a touch of fuel. So little that honestly I might just wait to the very end to see if I actually need to. I'm talking like two tenths of a liter. Buddy, I can sit with you for a minute. You can help me save my fuel. Oh, it's got to be a slowdown. It's so easy to get that slowdown out there. It's ridiculous, honestly. Shit. Slow down. You got a penalty for cutting the core. Used to it. I need a slowdown counter. 
what I should do. I should go back in the video and add a slowdown counter every time I get one. Good grief. Just not looking forward to my league race here, man. Really not looking forward to it. I wish it was like in the rain or something, you know? Give me a some variable to have a chance. I'm gonna be so far off the pace, it's just ridiculous. But if, if there's rain or something, give me an opportunity to level the playing field a little bit. I wish I had some lines on the track that mattered. Like, hey, these are orange lines. You can't go over those. Yellow lines. If you go over those, it's a slowdown. Ah, great. Thank you. But the stuff at this track is so arbitrary. It's like either don't make it a slowdown or give us some other kind of reference point. I mean, honestly, every time I come out of the exit of the two chicanes on the straight here, I'm like, I have no idea whether I'm about to get a slowdown or not. I just do my best to try to get my tires over the curbs. I feel like if I can do that, I'm probably safe. But in the first uh, chicane, it's not necessarily true. Alright. Sitting 15th. I mean... 35 minutes to basically be one spot back. All kinds of chaos happening around me. Two laps at the line. I think I need to save, man. Still need to save. But it's so small. I'd like to not lose any positions or let these guys catch up. It is strange though, it's telling me 2.2 laps, both in the tank and for the race, but that I still need to save two tenths of a liter. I guess that the lap is so long, you were talking seven and a half liters a lap. Two tenths is not much of a lap. Do this right, please. You've got about two laps. And with those, man, I really have no idea what the. I need to come through here in a slow lap, like a actually slow lap, and find those limits. That was actually a pretty good lap for having to slow down. That's actually pretty awesome. 57.7. Pretty sure I had to slow down that lap. Pretty sure I've had to slow down damn near every lap, except maybe the first two. Oh, yeah. You got a penalty for cutting the court. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Fuck, there's... Mottle's a 55.5. That's progress.
<laughs> I lose like two things for that. Wow, that was close. Just so everybody's aware, if you're still watching this deep end, number one, I appreciate you. Number two, I know that is definitely not the right way to get rid of a slowdown. At this point, I'm just kind of fucking around having a fun time. Here's another one. I just want to jack this son bitch straight into the trees, to be honest. Too tight on exit? Slow down. Such a joke. No more slowdowns now, please. <laughs> I'm only showing 45 seconds, so I'm guessing obviously the leaders are way ahead of me. They're 50 seconds ahead of me, so they've taken the, they've gotten that extra lap in. See what I can do with these two. I mean, those self mistakes. I mean, that's thinking about next week. That's going to be the race. I and mean, who doesn't make all those stupid mistakes or slowdowns? Fuel. Yeah, I should be actually quite good on fuel. squirrely up there. It was just mind-blowing to me that I'm still in the positive IR space. I'm back to 14th, so at least if the standings and JRT is correct. Pretty insane. Expecting that straight line speed to come on back. And if y'all are interested too, I'd note what just happened there. I got alongside him fair and square. He let off. Let me go. It could have made that super difficult. We could have been too wide through there. Note that kind of stuff, you know? 
pay it back as respect. Yeah, it's funny, it doesn't really matter too much for him. We're still gaining a ton of IR if we just stay where we are. I'm curious if he's looking at something like that. I figure I'm like three quarters of a second up on my fastest lap right here at the end. After all the stupid things that have happened in this race. Slowdowns. I mean, come on. Basic mistakes. Ridiculous. slow downs at the end thank you what a weird race i don't even know what to think of that honestly 13th there's the flag it's over did watching that elicit 13th and of course right at the end a 56-3 fastest lap i don't even i don't even know what to take from that i really don't jeez That's funny. Don't think I've ever gotten that before. Damn. Very cool. Sorry, my lighting goes terrible when I'm not in the session. I like to sit in the dark. Anyway, I don't know how. Gained 35 IR in that. A uh, little safety rating bump too, which is pretty nice. I don't know that I got any. I don't remember getting any 1Xs. I got a million. Uh, okay, I got one. Million off tracks. It's funny that you can get off tracks, or slowdowns rather, that are not off tracks. Not really sure how or why that works, but we're, we are where we are. But... Yeah, I guess just being the uh, one of the lowest cars in the field at number 24, anything in the positive was going to help. So I only gained one position in that race. And, you know, what a weird yo-yo of an experience. I feel like I made a ton of mistakes, ton of slowdowns. I honestly don't even know how many I had. I should have had a counter in this video. But frankly, I'm too lazy to do that. Um just a weird race. I really don't even know what else to say about it, to be honest with you. I'm not good at this track. I think I've literally just demonstrated that to you guys for the last 40 minutes or so. If you've stuck in this far, I appreciate you. Um, I'll be back this week. I've got uh, league races coming up all week. If that's something you like, um, I broadcast them live. It's a cool experience. Have a really good audience that tunes in every week to watch those. If you want to be part of that, subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when I do go live. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.